Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Our officers, soldiers, and civilians welcome you to the United States Army Dental Clinic Command Vicenza, Italy Change of Command Ceremony. Today we are honoring Colonel James W. Cartwright, Jr., the outgoing commander who has commanded since July 1993, who will assume command today. This area is considered as outdoors. Honored guests for today's ceremony include Major General and Mrs. Jack T. Nix, Jr., the Commanding General, Army Health Clinic, Vicenza, and Colonel Glenn L. Scott, Commander of the CTAP Lion Brigade. Please remain seated as Chaplain Hilton gives the invocation. Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, we praise you as the great physician. We give you thanks today for providing our health through faithful commanders here in Vicenza that we recognize here today. Bless Colonel Cartwright and his wife as they depart for Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Bless them in their new endeavors. Empower Colonel Jennings and his wife as he assumes command of our dental cl clinic here. Bless us all, Lord, as we serve as your peacemakers. Amen. Roscoe is presenting a bouquet of red roses to Mrs. Joe Cartwright, wife of the outgoing commander. Red is the color of the heart and reflects the loving care and concern that Mrs. Cartwright has shown over the past 36 months. Mrs. Cartwright's roses are in full bloom, symbolizing the beauty and fulfillment of her time with us as First Lady of the Genza Dental Clinic Command. Private First Class Streeter is presenting flowers to Mrs. Kimberly Jennings, wife of the incoming commander, welcoming her as a member of the Army Dental Care family in Europe. <coughs> the United States Army Dental Clinic Command at Genza Italy was established by one of the Central Detachment Dental Service which was activated on 10 December 1943 as a malaria control unit at Camp Ellis, Illinois. It was redesignated the 102nd Medical Detachment in October on 29 December 1961 at Camp Hope, Louisiana. The 102nd saw action in the Southwest Pacific area during World War II in Korea with the 1st Cavalry Division and served in August. The 102nd was then activated 17 June 1994 on this tablet. The mission of the Vicenza Dental Center Command is to conserve the oral health of American soldiers deployed in northern Italy to eliminate or reduce the effects of dental disease and injury, to provide health within the geographical areas supported by the unit, and to maintain a constant state of readiness and training for deployment and for Mrs. Joe Cartwright is being presented the Commander's Award for Public Service by Major General Jack T. Nix, Jr., Commander of the United States Army, Southern European Task Force. <coughs> this is Joe Cal provided numerous hours of volunteer service to soldiers, their families, and the Army community as key wife on the Information Exchange Committee representative on the PX and Commissary Committees, volunteer at the thrift shop, VOSCC, and community carnival, member of the MEDAX DENTAC AMED Wives Auxiliary, and coordinator and senior wife of the DENTAC Family Support Group. Her devotion to the community and untiring efforts vastly improve the quality for Army families and reflect great credit upon her, this command, and the United States Army. Signed, Jack P. Nix, Jr., Major General, U.S. Army, Commanding. <laughs> Colonel Prance will now present an award to Colonel James W. Cartwright, Jr. Attention to order. The Legion of Merit is presented to Colonel James W. Cartwright, Jr., United States Army, for exceptional meritorious service from 13 July 1993 to 13 July 1996, while serving as commander of the Vicenza Dental Clinic Dental Activities. He played a major role in the reorganiz reorganization of the European dental care system that resulted in the deactivation of eight dental activities and the closure of 60 dental clinics. 
Though his organization downsized from a DENTAC to a clinic command, Colonel Cartwright's mission increased through tri-service cooperative efforts. His organization increased support to Aviano and Getty Air Force bases during their rapid expansion to support Bosnia missions. Colonel Cartwright's distinct accomplishments reflects great credit upon him and the United States Army, given under my hand the city of Washington, D.C. this eighth day of April 1996, Togo D. West, Secretary of the Army. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we will perform the passing of the colors. The colors are carried by soldiers into battle and identified them as a unit. While attacking or rallying on the battlefield, the soldiers will follow the colors to the forward end of battle. When the colors are held high, they are a source of hope and strength for those that will make the ultimate sacrifice for fellow soldiers and country. The passing of colors signifies the transfer of responsibility from the outgoing commander to the incoming commander. The colors begin and end in the hands of the senior enlisted person of the unit, thus symbolizing the continuity, loyalty, and trust placed in him by the commander. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-3B, the undersigned assumes command of the United States Army Democratic Command definitively effective this hour, 22 July 1996. Signed, Dennis E. James, Lieutenant Colonel Promotable, Dental Corps Commander. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the European Dental Service Support Area, Colonel William A. France. General, this is Nix. Scott, this is Boots. Colonel, this is Bodai. Colonel and Dr. Canetti. Colonel Richter, friends of the Vincenza dental community soldiers and civilians of the Vincenza Clinic Command. First of all, I would like to compliment the organizers and participants of this great change of command ceremony for a job well done. Once again, dentistry has displayed its pride. In early 1994, the first commander's meeting of the newly organized European Dental Service Support Area to our active duty and family members following the drawdown in Europe. The European dental care system had seen reductions in clinics from 95 to 35. From dental officers of over 400 to approximately 190, with similar draconian cuts in enlisted and, pers and civilian personnel strength. The worst of all, was a perception by our patients that we had abandoned them. The cry was heard throughout Europe to include the Vincenza community. My assessment at the end of that meeting was that one of the EDIS strengths, the greatest strengths, was its commanders, to include Colonel Jim Cartwright. Two years have passed, and the accomplishments of the EDISA are mirrored in those of the Vincenza Command and Colonel Cartwright. Vincenza has a newly renovated dental clinic with increased patient treatment capability. Additional staff are present to include two contract dentists. 
two unit reorganizations have been completed. From a combined DENTAC MTO unit to a DENTAC to a dental clinic command, all without any detrimentation here. Vincenzo and Livorno have met the user of dental standards since they have been implemented to include soldier readiness and family member access to care. Valuable contacts and agreements have been made with the Air Force and the Navy for the delivery of care throughout Italy. And last and most importantly, our patients again believe in us and our commitment to them. At the European level, Colonel Cartwright has been the European consultant for general dentistry and has run the comprehensive dental training review program for Europe. His students have challenged the Federal Services Board of General Dentistry with a phenomenal 80% success rate. Normally it's about 60. All of these accomplishments are the direct result of Colonel Cartwright's untiring efforts on behalf of Vincenzo and the European dental community. Jim, Joe, you've been great, great command team. You've been outstanding representatives of the Army Dental Corps. Thank you. I miss you. Godspeed. At this time, I'd like to welcome Colonel and Mrs. Jennings to the European Dental Service Support Area Command Team. I've known Colonel Jennings for almost 10 years. We have worked together in the past. Our latest project being the establishment of the dental clinic in Kuwait. Colonel Jennings has my complete confidence. I ask that the Vincenza community and the dental clinic command support Colonel and Mrs. Jennings as you have supported the Cartwrights. General Nix, the Vincenza community is receiving one of the finest command teams that the Army Dental Corps has. You will be pleased. Thank you, Dennis and Kim. Good luck. General and Mrs. Nix, Colonel and Mrs. Kranz, Colonel and Mrs. Hoots, Colonel and Mrs. Lodi, Colonel Quinquila Canetti, Dr. Canetti, friends, uh, staff of the Vicenza Dental Clinic Command, and members of the CTAF staff. It's a pleasure to be here today uh, and take this time to thank you for the support you've given me. The dental clinic care in, in Europe has been a precious commodity uh, throughout these last few years. It seems like everybody's been looking for care. Everybody's come from the states where they had the TRICARE plan or the previous Delta Dental plan and expected two exams, two cleanings a year. It's difficult to do that in this particular community, but we're trying. As the 102nd Medical Detachment and as the Vicenza Dental Clinic Command, now we have strived to provide the utmost quality of care in the best manner that we can for this community. Clinics in Germany would have had to move out. And yet it's been done without missing a step. It's through the staff and personnel of the dental clinic that we have here that we've accomplished this. The community has supported us in all areas, and we've tried to reciprocate by providing the best care we can for this community. The European DISA and Colonel Kranz has fought hard for dental care in this theater of operations. Without Colonel Kranz's help, we would have lost or had a decrement of service. He's been able to obtain the contract dentists that we needed to keep our services going in this area and increase and provide better support in the future for this community. I would like to thank my wife and my daughter for their support. She said to keep my speech short, so I will. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the United States Army Dental Clinic Command, Lieutenant Colonel Promotable Dennis E. Jennings. General and Mrs. Nix, Colonel and Mrs. Krantz, Colonel and Mrs. Hoots, Colonel and Mrs. Bodai, honored guests, members and friends of the Vicenza military community, and especially the soldiers and civilians of the Vicenza and Camp Darby Dental Clinics, Kim and I are honored by your presence here today. As I look out and I see the maroons raised today, it kind of makes me feel like I'm coming home. 
I uh, started out some 15 years ago as a second brigade dental surgeon for the 82nd Airborne Division. So it's good to be around the Airborne again, and I'm, I'm really glad to be taking this unit over. Last week, as I observed the prior commanders who had, had served this unit, I realized this military community had been served by some of the best the Army Dental Corps had to offer. These will be difficult shoes for me to fill, but I look forward to the challenges and responsibilities of this command and leading this unit through the next three years. Colonel Cartwright is to be commended for providing the Vincenza military community with a state-of-the-art dental facility for which they serve this, this, this area. As the Army and the Dental Corps complete the right-sizing process, every unit is faced with the objective Oh, thanks for your enduring support, enduring frequent moves, separations, and deployments. I stand here today because of you. Without this support, I would not be here. Once again, thank you for your attendance today. Kim and I look forward to meeting you each, each individually and working with you over the next months and years. Thank you very much. And welcome to reception in the room. Colonel and Mrs. Cartwright will remain on the front of the main canopy for those wishing to farewell and give them a farewell. Thank you for attending.
Now, local news from AFN Vicenza. Good evening. A change of command ceremony historically represents a changing of the guard as incoming and outgoing commanders trade places. Vicenza's Dentac had a change of command ceremony this morning at the Golden Lion. AFN's Army Sergeant Cager Cox has more in this report. God, we praise you as After a brief invocation and presentation of flowers to the respective wives of both commanders and a presentation of an end of tour Legion of Merit award, the traditional change of command ceremony got underway. Outgoing DINTAC Commander Lieutenant Colonel James Cartwright Jr. handed over the DINTAC colors to incoming Commander Dennis Jennings. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-3B, the undersigned assumes command of the United States Army General Clinic Command, which is Lieutenant Colonel Promotable, General Corps Commander. Afterwards, Dental Corps Commander for European Dental Service Support Area, Colonel William Krantz, spoke about the integrity and accomplishments of Colonel Cartwright and says that Vicenza's Dentac is in good hands. Vicenza has a newly renovated dental clinic with increased patient treatment capability. Additional staff are present to include two contract dentists. Two unit reorganizations have been completed from a combined Dentac MTO unit to a DENTAC, to a dental clinic command, all without any decrement in patient care. Vincenzo and Livorno have met the use of our dental standards since they have been implemented to include soldier readiness and family member access to care. Valuable contacts and agreements have been made with the Air Force and the Navy for the delivery of care throughout Italy. Lieutenant Colonel Cartwright, who was present for several DENTAC accomplishments, including the DENTAC building restoration, reflected on his time spent at Caserma Ederly in a positive way. We have improved our facilities and have increased the support to the community. I know that Colonel Jennings will keep this tradition alive and increase and provide better support in the future for this community. I would like to thank my wife and my daughter for their support. She said to keep my speech short, so I will. Thank you very much, God bless you, and God bless America. For his part, incoming commander, Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Jennings, spoke to his new command with an eye to the future. These will be difficult shoes for me to fill, but I look forward to the challenges and responsibilities of this command and leading this unit through the next three years. I will consider my tenure a successful one if access to quality dental care increases to the entire Vincenza military community with no decrement in, in dental readiness. Military life dictates that soldiers will come and soldiers will go. For the staff of Vicenza's Dentac, this change of command represents a turning of a page and a beginning of a new chapter. In Vicenza, I'm Army Sergeant Cager Cox, AFN News. Moo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>